In this video, I will show you how to get set up for programming in the Lean programming language using Visual Studio Code or VS Code. VS Code is very easy to install on all these platforms. Just click that button. Once you have it installed, you'll see a window like this. This is VS Code. The first thing we can do then is use the Extensions tab and look for the extension called Lean 4 and click the Install button. Boom, that was quick. Next thing we want to do is we want to clone the Lean Samples Git repo, Lean 4 samples. So you plug that in here. We'll put it in our temp folder for now. Great. We can now open that and we see Hello World. And in there we see a Lean program. And here uh, the VS Code extension is saying, ah, you need the compiler. So click the Install. It goes ahead and gets a little tool called Elon, which is like a bootstrapper for installing the compiler. Actually, it manages installing whatever version of the compiler you need for your samples. It's putting the nightly version of Lean on your machine. Okay, Lean is now installed and it starts running. So we can evaluate the main function here, which is printing hello world and we see the result here you can see what version of lean you're running here and you can you know start evaluating expressions this is uh, one project there's uh, another project over here this is uh, also up and running now and I can start playing with this the info view has lots of fun features you can see what's happening you can also go to the command palette and type lean 4 and see all the things that are provided here. One of the most useful ones is open the documentation view, which will take you to the reference manual. There's a cheat sheet for abbreviations, uh, which I can explain here. So Lean supports all kinds of fun uh, characters like this character here for the logical and, and you can type these things if you use these shortcuts over here. So backslash n gives you the not symbol and you, so you type backslash n space and it's now you can enter all of these cool letters which are really popular in the world of mathematics. Go back to uh, the reference manual and you can also look at the book on theorem proving and if you want to try something uh, you can also bring these samples up in a new window. So this is now running the Lean compiler Click that button to bring back the info view, and it's now running this compiler. You can see the state of the theorem here at any point, what the expected types are. So this is also showing you that Lean works in an untitled window. What that means is you can close this whole workspace and do new file and select a language, Lean 4 eval, right? And so this is, shows that the Lean compiler can also work on a completely ad hoc file if you want to just do something and then just throw it away. Uh, quick experiments, that works too. You can also use Lean in a workspace. If you're familiar with VS Code workspaces, I have an example over here. A workspace has a workspace file and that's what you open. And what I have here is I have uh, two folders each folder has a different version of Lean. This one's using Lean from the nightly build, and this one's using Lean from a stable build. You can have two different versions of Lean being used in two different sort of projects, if you like, side by side in a workspace. So if I open this one, it's gonna use the version of Lean that I already installed. If I open this one, then it's using a different build. It's using the stable version of Lean, uh, which has a different version string. So that's Lean in workspaces as well. One more thing to point out is that when you go to the definition of something that lives in the Lean standard library, like let's say we're looking at the array class or namespace, and it has an append method, and we wanna go and take a look at that code, F12 will take you there. And you'll see the path to this Lean standard library is in your Elan install folder. 
Elan toolchains. So Elan is this tool that manages multiple versions of Lean and all of those live in your toolchain folder. And in fact, from your terminal window, you can now say Elan toolchain list and see what I have installed. Elan is the tool that manages those toolchains. I could uninstall them, I could install new versions and so forth from this command line. And in order for Elan to work, you need to in include the path to Elan binaries in your path environment variable. And I've done that in my environment variables on Windows, but you can do that um, on your, your other platforms so that the tool is in your path and then everything just works from there. VS Code doesn't require it to be in your path, but if you want to do anything from, the, from a terminal window, you need to add it to the path yourself. One last thing, if you ever see Lean fail to start like this, all right, and I'm going to open this func this file, and I see failed to start Lean Language Server. There might be more information on the output tab for the Lean editor. And this says, could not download non-existent Lean version of master. So if I look at the Lean toolchain file, it's asking for a version of Lean that I don't have set up in my toolchain list. And you can edit this file. And as soon as you do that, a pop-up shows up saying, hey, you just changed the version, so do you want to restart the Lean server? I'll say yes. It looks like it worked. And the info view is now up and running. So I can close this, close that, and I'm back in business. Now there's one last thing that I want to point out here, and that is when to use the refresh file dependencies command here that's listed in the command palette. You can see here I'm trying to call a function on a point. I'm importing the point from my uh, little library here of different classes. I can jump to the definition of point, but you can see I don't have a length function here. If I make a change to this file that's in this folder and go back to main, you can see that the error is still here. There is a sort of dependency tracking feature that's missing from the Lean compiler right now. And the workaround is to just do refresh file dependencies, and that'll sort of reload all the files that have changed that need to be uh, recompiled so that this new function shows up and the length of this, this point is now computed correctly. Right, that's it. You should now be ready to play with Lean 4. Have fun.